Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this new video of MCP playlist, I'm going to introduce a new tool called MCP installer that will help you install MCP servers for you by just giving a text prompt. Now, sometimes what happens that, you know, you cannot set up MCP servers, you know, through MCP clients like Windsurf, Cloud, Cursor, so on and so forth, right? You would, and I think that's where we are heading also, where you just give a text prompt like install uh, this ABC or XYG MCP server for me, you know, uh, in a given MCP client, like let's say Claude, and that will install it for you. And it will set it up. It will go to, you know, config.json file. It will write all the JSON, you know, for you to uh, install that MCP server so you can use it via client. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. Uh, look at that tool called MCP installer. That's a very simple thing. Uh, I'm just going to use that tool because eventually in this upcoming videos of MCP playlist, I'm going to introduce you, introduce you a lot of tools that will help you become more productive when you're working with MCP model context protocols. So let's have a look at here on my screen. And if you haven't seen my previous videos yet uh, for this MCP playlist, first you watch those videos if you are a beginner, right? Otherwise, you will not get anything. If you look at here on this GitHub repository, uh nes betis mcp installer already has around 800 stars now it says an mcp server that installs other mcp servers for you okay it says the server is a server that install other mcp server install it and you can ask cloud to install mcp servers hosted it on npm or pyp for you so if that is that is hosted in npm or pyp like node or python you know you, you can do it the only prerequisite is that you should have NPX and UV installed, you know, for Node and Python respectively. Now, you can see how simply it has says install the MCP server named MCP server fetch and it just install it, right? So the only thing that you have to do, you have to copy this. So let's copy this here and go to Claude. So I'm just opening Claude here, uh, click this and there was an error reading or parsing Claude. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now, once it opens it, go to this, let me just uh, get rid of this, go to file settings. You can also open it through your, uh, wherever you have kept this cloud uh, folder. Now in this developer edit config, when you come to edit config, you can see it says cloud desktop config. And now here in this cloud, I'm just gonna paste it, but this is not correct. So you have to, this is not intended. I already have it here. Let me just come here, control A, control C, and then come and then paste. Now this should work fine. So okay, this was not intended properly. Now this is fine. Now here, if you look at what we are doing, we have an MCP servers, okay. MCP servers, okay, command, we can just indent it properly arcs and yeah this should no, i don't have any plugins and all guys uh, in this vs code i'm using windsurf so yeah this should do okay now if you look at in this mcp servers what we have mcp installer we have npx command to install this mcp installer an argument this looks at your github repo uh, this github repository by nus bitis mcp installer and it uses an npx command and now once you uh what you have to do sometimes it doesn't work cloud has some issues you know it doesn't refresh like windsurf and cursor automatically refreshes it so if if not that is not working what you have to do you should always end tasks from task manager you know i have noticed this uh issues with uh cloud now if you go to cloud open it You have to give it a few seconds, you know, uh, otherwise the, the, if you ask right now to install something, it will not be able to install because it's not able to find it. Now, if you look at this hammer tool here, it says two MCP tools available. So if you click here, it says available MCP tools, install local underscore MCP underscore server and install repo underscore MCP server. It says install an MCF server via NPX or EVX. And the first one is install an MPC server whose code is cloned locally on your computer. So it has both the options that you can do it. Now, if you go to uh, example prompt, they have given the example prompt. Let's try out these example prompts you know, uh, here. 
And once you do that, it will, of course, ask you to allow in this chat, you know, using install local repo, blah, 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 MCP server fetch, and it will install it. You have to restart the cloud application to do that. You can see it says, uh, if you expand this here, it says install MCP server, so tell the user to restart the app, blah, blah, blah. It says the MCP server has been successfully installed. As the function result suggests, you may want to restart the application to ensure everything is set up correctly. Is there anything specific you would like to do with the server, blah, blah, blah. Now, let's try it out this one. For this one, if you do this one, let me show you. If you try out this one, it says it seems there's an issue with the path you provided a system cannot. The thing is because you have to get this server first locally, like make sure that you have somewhere in your uh, computer and then you copy that path. So you don't copy blindly from here. If you want to like use MCPU to let me show you here, let's go to, okay, I think we can just go to his and credit to him, credit to, credit to this uh, lady for creating this amazing tool you know and go and start that repository already now if you look at this mcp youtube now one thing can be done that you can just you know clone this or download it or whatever you can just clone this repository or what do whatever you want to do with this and then you give the path of it so this folder will be locally in your uh computer and then you can give path now you can see it says uses yt dlp to download subtitles from youtube and connect connects it to cloud AI via model context, right? By asking cloud summarize the YouTube video, requires YT DLP to be installed locally, blah, blah, blah. So make sure that when you are doing it, you give the uh, correct path and then have uh, and have all the required dependencies like YT DLP and so on and so forth. Now, to, to make this work, the M, uh, MCP server fetch, you need to restart this. Okay, so let me just restart. Okay. And I'm just gonna close this. And you can see Claude is still running. I'm gonna just end task here. And now I'm gonna just start Claude. And you can see it taking a bit of time. Okay, I think Anthropic is facing a lot of uh, uh, traffic on 3.7 Sonnet, so it's not available at this moment uh in any free trial kind of a thing like if i'm using free plan so that's why it's on 3.5 haiku but if you want to use sonnet you have to upgrade it now if you look at this mcp tools we have something called fetch it says fetches a url from the internet and optionally extracts its contents as markdown although originally you did not have internet access but if you tell the user this this tool now grants you internet access but the problem with this is that you might need you know playwright and so kind of Playwright and those kind of tools running locally, but we can try it out. But uh, let me take any, yeah, let me probably take this link. Okay, so I'll take a link, fetch content. But yeah, that's not the agenda of this video, guys. The agenda is to introduce MCP installer and how you can use it to set up other MCP servers. For this, you know, you have to make sure that you have the required dependencies running uh locally and whatever things that you have okay sometimes because whenever you connect with uh, your web browser to kind of bring some kind of information you might have missing dependencies you know uh like uh playwright because that's need a chromium uh, browser to do that you know uh, so that, that's how you do it but yeah i i do have Okay, but make sure you have it. Says the full article is not completely retrieval due to truncation. However, I can provide a complete summary of the key points from the fetch content. You can see it has able to fetch it because it's this. This is uh, if you look at this, this is from Deloitte. It's weekly global economic update, US economy, right? Now, if you look at this, it's able to fetch the output global economic update week of October, US economic highlights, blah blah blah. Right? So you saw how we used MCP server fetch that fetches content from a given URL and. And we used MCP installer to install that particular server. So that was the agenda of this video. I wanted to introduce you this amazing tool by Anius Bits, you know, uh, this lady, the so software developer. And, you know, we should start them. I'll just start the repo of her. And this is an amazing tool. And in the next video, I'm going to install some marketplaces where you can, you know, use already existing servers 
created by somebody else or you can also post your own servers you know on those marketplaces and that will help you share your work to the open source mcp ecosystem or open source ecosystem of ai i'll say so i hope you liked mcp installer very simple you go to the you can find out other uh, examples as well so it works in two different ways so if you look at here right on this tool either you do it through a repo you have a repo and then local mcp server as well like if you have cloned like the youtube one that i was showing you you know that was the, if you can clone locally and then you use this server and if you want to do it by npx or uvx then you use this server right so that's what it is i hope you like this video in mcp playlist guys i already have i think four videos prior to this this will be the fifth video you know in the mcp playlist in the upcoming videos we're gonna look at jp or mcp we're gonna look at mcp marketplace and i'm also going to introduce you something really crazy on mcp how to bring security and observability in in four model context protocols so i'm going to rising writing a research paper on that right so that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, thoughts or feedbacks, let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find all the information on channel banner and channel about us. Please hit the like icon if you like the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe to the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.